that come under this area or do you want it under the planning department? Uh, actually, actually it, it falls on, under, under this budget. Uh, the uh, Regional Planning Commission, the Zoning Board, the Planning Board, the Conservation Commission, the Heritage Commission, the City Committee, the Historic District Commission, the Cities for Climate Protection, Arts Alive, the uh, Veterans Council, and the Chamber of Commerce all fall under the city section. So if anybody wishes to address any of those, uh, those items, they certainly my name is Peter Wright. I live at 42 Portland Street, and um, I've been a resident of Keene all my life, and was a former chairman of the Conservation Commission about 40 years ago, and I'm currently a member. And um, as far as I know, the Conservation Commission has never had um, a steady budget that could rely on, other than perhaps three or four thousand dollars for meetings and. Um, expenses for trips and that type of thing. Uh, I think we need this money so that we can properly plan for our future and I think uh, it, it's really behooves the city to um, commit to make a commitment to the conservation lands and the conservation policies of the city. Um, some of the things that we do need money for our administrative costs of conservation easements, uh, stewardship costs of maintaining conservation lands, such as Beaver Brook and uh, Goose Pond. Increased demands for funds uh, last, year, last year we were able to, because of the money we had in the land use tax fund, we were able to donate a sizable amount of money to the Keene Middle School project, uh, Wetlands project. <coughs> it was, um, I think, over $25,000 uh, just for that one project. And we've also had expenses in uh, connection with the um, Keene Swansea um, interconnectivity of the um, conservation lands between the two towns. Uh, we've also had expenses for the Asher River Dam, uh, the Dwarf Point Muscle Studies. And we have cost of natural resource inventories for land use management plans. And um, we, we just need to have some sort of a predictable amount that we can depend on year after year. And it's something I think is long overdue. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Uh, any, any, anyone else wish to address this section of the budget? 